here. Oh my goodness, I haven't been on here in so long. Like literally just sitting down and talking to you guys. That's what I've missed the most. Oh my goodness. Luxember totally took over my channel and I felt like Luxember was appropriate enough because I had so many of you that were following me and watching me and I thought it would be so amazing just to share the entire month of December and all of the events that I was doing with you guys. I would love to continue vlogging, but I want your opinion because I want to know if it's great to just do random vlogs on my beauty channel or should I move any kind of vlogs on my other channel? I do have a second channel. It's called La Vida Jesse Marie and I will leave the channel link down below if you guys want to subscribe, but I want your opinion. I want your feedback. Please let me know if I should move any future vlogs, if I should just do them on my other channel and just leave this channel mainly beauty. It really means a lot to me that you guys give me your opinions and just comment them down below. I love reading your comments and I love talking to you. You, especially a couple of you that have been really commenting me on my last couple of vlogs. I really appreciate it. I just, I feel the love when I read your comments and I love it so much. With that being said, I hope you guys had an amazing start to your new year. I brought this makeup look for you today. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up. And this is going to be a talk through video because I just miss talking to you guys. I really do. Let me know if you miss me as much as I miss you. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Oh my goodness, it has been so long since I've been on here in front of you guys about to put on some makeup. I mean, I have been putting on makeup, but I actually haven't had a chance to actually sit down and film it a makeup tutorial with you guys so this is gonna be a talk through so I hope it's not too long but I just I miss talking to you guys like I feel like it's been so long so we're gonna start off with a fresh face as you can see I have only moisturizer on no primer no nothing we're just gonna go ahead and just get into it to prime the skin I am going to be priming it with the Smashbox Smashbox really I'm going to be priming the skin with the Smashbox photo finish primer water and I've been really loving this lately only because I feel like my skin has been getting a little bit more drier during the colder days, whatever colder day that we have. So I feel like it's been helping with a little bit more hydration. So I wait for that to settle into the skin just a little bit before moving on to the next primer. Move on to priming the face and I should have done this first. I always do this before applying foundation because I feel like this preps my skin for whatever lipstick I want to use and it just moisturizes it so well. This is the... Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask by Nicole Guerrero. Guerrero. I want to say it in Spanish because it sounds nicer like that. I think it's such a really nice lip mask. It's rose scented. But it's not too overpowering. Let's continue on with priming the skin. Today I'm going to be using the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. I've been using this only in the areas where I have bigger pores and where I get the most oily, which is the forehead, the nose, the cheeks, and some on the chin. While I let the primer set on my face a little bit, I like to go ahead and start with the eyes. For priming the eyes, I'm going to be using the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I've been using the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly a lot lately and I think it's because we're not in the summer months so I feel like my eyes don't get as oily and my eyeshadows don't crease as much as they would in the hot summer months. And to set this paint pot in place, I'm going to go in with a matte beige eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Kathleen Lights in collab with Morphe palette just to use this base shade just to set the primer in place. This palette is going to be relaunching again, I believe Friday the 6th. I'm pretty sure when you guys see this video it will be after the 6th, but this palette is relaunching. It's $14.99. It's an amazing palette. I love it so much. Let me know if you guys want to see a look on it. I'm really wanting to create a makeup look using this palette. I'm going to take the large fluff E50 brush by Sigma just to apply that. I'm just going to set the paint pot in place so that way all the other eyeshadows that I apply will be able to blend more easily. Snapchat is just so funny. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you really should. It's just Beauty by Jessie. Super simple, easy, straight to the point. 
and I know some of you have said that you don't do snapchat and believe me I understand exactly what you're saying because it took me a long time to get on the snapchat wagon all right so before I get sidetracked and distracted anymore I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my foundation for today's video I am going to jump into using my favorite holy grail foundation and it is this one the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I've talked about this so much on my channel. I love it so much. It's an amazing drugstore favorite of mine. I don't have too many drugstore favorite foundations, but if you guys have any recommendations on which is your favorite drugstore foundation, let me know down in the comments because I'm really interested in trying some new drugstore foundations. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm in the shade 128 Warm Nude. And I love applying this foundation with my beauty blender because I feel like I still get good coverage but I can sheer it out just a little bit if in case you go too much. For concealer today I am going to be using an old favorite and this is pretty much everybody's old favorite. I think so. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light 10. I'm just applying it all messingly on my face. Don't mind me. Now to set the under eye concealer, I've been using the RCMA No Color Powder. I put it in a Laura Mercier pot because the packaging is the bottle that just pours out and I don't find that very convenient. It gets pretty messy after a little bit. So I have the powder in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and just pack in the powder and just bake underneath my eyes because I've noticed that I've been doing this a lot every single day as my morning routine. I'll go ahead and apply concealer and then bake with this powder and then blend it out and I feel like my under eyes never crease when I do this method. Also around the nose, I crease like crazy. I know I look super crazy right now. <laughs> But trust me, it works after you get this method down pat. Now this is what I like to do. I like to bake underneath the eyes like this, but then I go right into a face powder. This is actually a new item that I haven't used on my channel and I just got it when I was in New York. But this is the, uh, not the NYX, excuse me, <laughs> the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. I got mine in the shade Nude Beige. Almost everything is Nude Beige. And what I do is I take this and I take a big dense brush. My favorite dense brush to use is this one by Morphe. It's the E1. And I take the powder and I pack the powder onto my face to set and buff away the under eyes. As I buff away, you will see that the white underneath the eyes just buffs away with it. Like that. Well, I'm just gonna be honest. Florida, we only have like maybe one or two cold winter days. So the majority of the time it's been super warm and hot and I get an oily face. So this is the method that I've been using every single day to keep my face from getting super oily after a few hours. If you tend to have super dry skin, I definitely don't recommend this method because you will get dry. Like this is a super matte face. Definitely. All right, so let's go back to the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows just to kind of map out and start putting together this look. My favorite eyebrow product that I've been using is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. Right, so I'm gonna move on into eyeshadow and today I'm gonna be using the Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. This has been all the rave right now and I thought it would be nice to create another look with the palette because I've been obsessing with this palette as well. It's not just because it's all the rave, but this is an amazing palette. Like I have one more tutorial on this and I'll leave it down below if you guys want to check it out. But the palette is just so pretty. The shades are so beautiful. Like they're springy. You can use it all year round. They have dark colors. I really want to dig into the dark colors because I haven't used the dark colors as much as I use these right here because I'm just such a light, pretty pinky, peachy kind of person. So I'm going to try out the this corner, this whole range right over here and just have some fun. I am going to start with Georgia, 
which is this one. It's my favorite transition color out of the entire palette. It's just such a beautiful pinky peachy color to apply into the crease for your transition shade. The next shade I'm going to take is Puree, which is this shade right over here. Such a beautiful warm color. I'm going to take that and start to build up and deepening the crease. I'm also going to take the same Puree shade and apply it to the lower lash line. The eyes are really warm and the crease is becoming warm too. I'm going to go in with Charmed I'm Sure and that's this shade up here. It's like a cool tone brown but I'm going to go ahead and try it out and see how it looks in the crease. It kind of cool toned it down so you have a little bit of warmth and then a little bit of cool tone. Why not? Life is short, you gotta live a little. And also applying it to the lower lash line. So for the lid shade, I decided to be a little bit more bold because I haven't done a really nice, warm, cool tone, kind of smoky look with this palette. So I'm gonna go in with Summer Yum all over the lid. Let's see how that looks. I am loving how Summer Yum looks on the eyelid alone, like as a matte shade. And it's so pretty. You do have to make sure you tap off the excess off your brush, otherwise you will get tons of fallout. They're not as soft as like Lorac shadows, but they are, they have a little bit of a powdery kick up, which I can work with. All right, so that's what Summer Yum looks all over the lid. I really like it. It's different. I'm going to do it up the crease a little bit more with Charmed I'm Sure, which is this one right here. I'm taking a little bit of Summer Yum mixed in with Charmed I'm Sure, so that way it blends into the eyelid shade at the same time. Going back in with your blending brush and blend until everything looks nice and smooth. All right, and for the inner corners, I'm gonna take Bellini, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna mix Bellini with a little bit of Luxious so that it's not too dark in the inner corner. Wow. I think it's such a beautiful combination to mix together as the inner corner. That is so pretty. For the brow bone, I am going to be taking Nectar and mixed with White Peach to highlight the brow bone. Ooh yeah. I'm going back in with the blending brush and just blend everything nice and smooth. Before I move on to the rest of my face, I'm going to go ahead and take Summer Yum on the lower lash line really, really closely so it's nice and defined. I'm gonna go back in with Summer Yum and touch up the eyelid because I feel like after the blending, sometimes a matte shadow can get taken away. This is such a beautiful eyeshadow combination. I love it. I'm gonna take my blending brush and just blend underneath. For eyeliner today, I've been obsessing with this liner right here. This is by ColourPop and it's called Get Paid. Such a beautiful rose gold metallic looking eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes and kinda do a little wing at the same time because you guys know how much I love my wing liner, right? What do you think? I love it. It's so freaking pretty. I love anything rose gold and this liner is just, oh my gosh, so beautiful. All right, so I already applied the Get Paid Rose Gold Liner on the other eye. My dogs are freaking me out. Anyways, I've already applied the liner on this eye and I just love how it looks so far. I'm gonna take the same Get Paid Rose Gold Liner on the lower lash line. 
also want to add Mr. Bing. Now this is one of ColourPop's eyeliners that was collabed with Kathleen Light. And I'm going to leave it at that. Alright, to finish off the eyes, I am going to be applying mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro. I have been using this for quite some time now, and it was sent to me by, I want to say Influencer, but I'm not sure. And I wasn't sure how I felt about the mascara, but now that I have tried it for a little bit, it really is a nice mascara to separate your lashes. The only thing that I don't like about this mascara is that it does not provide enough volume for my lashes, so it really doesn't give me the thickness that I want. So I am going to go in with a different mascara. I like mixing mascaras sometimes when I want you know, more thicker lashes with the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Now since I am going to be skipping falsies just because, I don't know, I feel like I haven't been using falsies that much, but maybe later on I'll get into them again, but on a day-to-day -day basis I don't use falsies. I just pack on lots and lots of mascara. Also, I cannot get over this Tarte Eyelash Curler. This was part of their holiday sets that they were having during the holidays. And I'm so in love with the jewels on it. It's so pretty and oh my gosh. Like I've only used it once and I think it's because I don't want the jewels to fall off because they're just so pretty. I don't want this to ever go away. I have to mention that the weirdest thing about the CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro is the wand. It's so weird. Like it's wide and then it comes to a ball tip. It's Definitely something that you just have to practice and get used to. I only use the sides to separate my lashes the way I want them. I mean, look how beautiful my lashes look after using this one. This one's nice to separate, this one's nice to volumize. It's just so pretty and I don't want to cover up the rose gold liner so I'm going to skip on false lashes for this look. Alright, so I finished applying mascara on the lower lash line and the eyes are done so let's move on to the face. So for the face, I've been obsessing with the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer, and that's this one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up the skin. Not too much as contouring, but more bronzing. I love this bronzer so much. It looks so beautiful. It's like a neutral kind of bronzy shade. I can't explain it. So I totally forgot that I was supposed to use the Sweet Peach Glow palette for my bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Illuminating Bronzer. Oh, something almost popped out. I'm gonna use the Illuminating, Bro Illuminating Bronzer, which is this one right here. Now for the first bronzer, I used the Morphe E3, which is this one right here, my favorite. It's my favorite bronzing brush. Now, but for this one, I want just a little more concentrated illuminating bronzer, so I'm gonna take this one by Sigma. This one is the F05 Small Contour. This one is actually a little bit warmer than the first one. You can see, I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can, there's a little bit of a sheen when you apply this bronzer. I wish this bronzer was a little bit darker because I feel like not too many skin tones can benefit from this shade. So I feel like I have to pack on, pack on, and pack on to get, you know, lots of color. But overall, it is a pretty bronzer. I just feel like it needs to be darker because, let's face it, there's so many different kinds of beautiful skin tones out there that you know, need to benefit from a darker shade bronzer, you know? Alright, so I'm done bronzing up the face. I feel like I've done more than enough. I'm going to use the blush in the Sweet Peach Glow because I feel like this one is very light peachy shade. It's not too extravagant for definitely a smoky dark matte eye like this one. Morphe E4, which is this one, one of my favorite brushes ever. And I'm just going to, I literally just slam my brush into it that I feel like the the little drawing of the peach in there is going to go away soon because I use this blush so much lately. It gives such a nice peachy light color to the skin, it's not too much, which I like. Next for highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use the peach highlight that's in the palette, which is this one right here. This is a nice shade highlight, I have been using it a lot lately and I feel like it's a very light sheen kind of shade. It's not glittery but at the same time I feel like there's not too much shine in it. 
So you could pack this on and it would still look good. Like it's not too much of a bright highlight. So you can still see it and I put a lot on the brush like I literally go like this and there's so much on the brush but when you apply it it just looks like a nice sheen highlight it's not super super bright but it's very nice and it blends nicely into the skin I really 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 love how the look is turning out it's so pretty and it's so feminine and peachy and of course did I mention each scent is so, so strong, but it's still nice. It's not, I have to say, the peach scent doesn't bother me at all because it smells so nice, but at the same time, it has a tartness to it. It smells just like the Sweet Peach Palette. A lot of people that are very sensitive to smell might not be able to handle this odor here, but it's such a beautiful, sh yeah, it's, a beautiful smelling palette. Alright, last but not least, we're going to move on to the lips. And I'm going to keep it simple today because we have such a nice, bold, matte eye look. For the lips, I'm going to be using one of Too Faced's Peach Lip Oils. And that's this one right here. This one is in the shade Papa Don't Peach, which is such a cute name. I love the names for all of their glosses. And I only bought one because it's pretty pricey. One is priced at $19, so I'm like, hmm. Yeah, no. This one is actually the most popular shade that I saw sell out super fast. When you first apply it, it does look very sheer, but you can definitely build up the shade. <laughs> the lip gloss slightly tastes like peach, but it definitely smells like peach too. This is definitely a nice shade. I think it would be so awesome if you paired this with a lip liner underneath or a lipstick underneath. I think it would be beautiful. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Please let me know what you think down below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.